We just landed in Portland and we're traveling 45 minutes south to Oregon's capital of Salem, an area rich in heritage and beautiful nature. Let's go check it out. We are on our way from Portland to Salem and we stopped off at this awesome place called the Tulip Fest. This is an attraction that runs in April here. Spring has sprung, woo! Just miles and miles of yellow, pink, white, and purple tulips. Hello, we just made it here to Salem, Oregon, just south of the city of Portland. Just in time for the sunset, we're at Riverfront Park. We are so excited. Let's show you Salem. We are staying at the brand spanking new Home Two Suites by Hilton. Home Two Suites. We're so excited to show you guys this suite. Look at this, fully equipped. Everything you need in this little mini kitchen. Look at this high ceilings. Nice. Comfy Woo! Run the Atlas is here! Yeah. We kick off our night at Ritter's, which is known for its casual atmosphere, craft cocktails, locally sourced ingredients, and brick oven pizzas. We got pizza oven though. You're gonna make me guilty for not ordering pizza. <laughs> We're at Ritter's. So we got the Mexican Caesar. We got the Dungeness Crab Salad and the Steak Salad. We just got Toasted Coconut Marion Berry and Honey Lavender Gelato. We stroll around the city where we find some interesting garden-like alleyways before heading back to the Home Two Suites to retreat for the night. I'm loving how comfy and cozy this Home Two Suites is. This bed is just perfect, and this place is also pet friendly. I have this fully equipped kitchen, so you can make your own food. The next day, it's time to go wine tasting. This is one of the major draws of visiting the Salem region, as the Willamette Valley AVA is located right here and grows some of the top Pinot Noirs in the world. We get a chance to meet some of the wine producers here at these family-owned vineyards and capture the essence and beauty of this region from the estates. We take a hike at nearby Silver Falls State Park, known as the crown jewel of Oregon State Park System. This is a standout scenic treasure where you'll get to view the waterfall up close and even from behind. And if you like these breathtaking views as much as we do, smash that thumbs up button down below. Hey guys, we are in downtown Salem, Salem. right now. Welcome. Look at Good how morning. cute this is. It's a very um, small but very quaint old downtown. A lot of vintage looking brick buildings and things like that. And they're very well known in the Pacific Northwest and Oregon for coffee. coffee. So, so come and check it out. We're gonna go to Governor's Cup. Let's go. Let's go. Governor's Cup offers a relaxed coffee atmosphere with house roasted java, pastries, local art, and live music. Snacking cake in action with cardamom glaze. And the beautiful farmland is behind us, but you gotta watch out for bugs here. So we have reached the Oregon State Capitol here in Salem. Oregon became a state in 1859, baby. And we got this beautiful park-like setting. Kind of has a little bit of an East Coast vibe here. Got a little bit of rain today, just drizzle, but 
The air feels fresh. It's fresh. And it smells like pine trees. So you really can't complain. <sighs> it smells like pine. Look at these giant trees. It really feels like I'm on a college campus or something. So we're outside of the Capitol and what's interesting about this Capitol building is there's no dome on top, but it's all made of marble. It's really gorgeous. And the golden man at the top is an Oregon pioneer. He's looking out to the west. And then here's the city of Salem, circa 1890. Look at how beautiful this is. This is an old mill. Hey guys, we're at the old mill here in Salem. This is a historic building. So we just checked out some of the old Methodist um, buildings and some of the old colonial buildings from 170 years ago now. Still Knock standing. on wood. And now we're looking at the mill building. What's interesting too is the river here was used to power the machinery at the mill. So this was a wool mill and in here you can find all kinds of wool crafts. So this is the weaving room where they made fleece to fabric. You can see where they spun the wool. This is incredible how you can turn this raw product into what you see today. Hello and welcome to the Seabright Gardens. This place is so ethereal. We are here in April and everything's in bloom and we have pink snow. If you like these garden views as much as we do, hit the thumbs up button down below. It's amazing. Check out this pink snow on top of these beautiful plants. Pink snow. I've entered a dream. It's like being in a fantasy world here with all these birds singing. Welcome to Salem, guys. Welcome to Salem. Here in Independence, Oregon, it's one of our favorite small towns in the greater Salem region. It's lined with historic buildings. Check out this Rad Bank building. We found the Oregon Trail. This town has very cool vintage vibes. And there's a park right here. Coffee house. This town is famous for hops. It says where Oregon's story begins, right along the Willamette River. This is so vintage. Look at this old train track. This is an independence. Hey guys, I'm drinking the Doug Ferocious IPA. Cheers. We're at Gilgamesh Brewing. They have a couple locations here in the Salem region. Cute little brewery. They also are known for their pizzas. We are at 859 Cider Company. The recipes have nothing else but pure cider from the tree and fruit. They go from driest to sweetest. And the owner even made this cool wooden holder for the taster. Let's try it. Okay, so right here is the limited release. It's called a Keats. What is a Keats? It's not an apple or a pear, it's simply a kinks. And it's from West Salem, right in town. Cheers. 
that is good. Is it quince? It's quince. They don't add any sugar or anything like that, so it's all natural. And it's nice to get this taster because then you can try all of them at once. Pink snow on the ground. This is called the Riverfront Park here in Salem. So this is called the Willamette Slough. And you can see some of the geese down here. Beautiful bridge, running rapids. So coming in the summer of 2021 is this really cool amphitheater. It's like super futuristic and it almost sounds like we're playing some sort of meditation music in the background because there's birds singing and this beautiful babbling slow. We hope you get a chance to visit Salem very soon. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, share with your friends, and stay tuned for many more travel videos.